Google. Play Queen Herbie. Playing Queen Herbie on Spotify. Making money like a man. Laying in my eyes like shrimp. Making it shit like I'm in. Coming with the freshness. Be nice things. I fiend. Big a bling. Only bring this new could change. You hike. You fly. When they look up at the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a woman. Say my name. Rob Evans. Making money like a man. Photoshop, bro. Okay, you guys. So, I'm just sipping on my matcha here this morning. Um, I'm about to start writing out my training, get ready to do my workout, all that stuff. Uh, but you guys saw me talk about this matcha in the last video and like how I've been getting more into matcha lately just because I really like the taste. Uh, and I've also just liked how I've felt and I actually didn't know that matcha, ha I, I did some digging. Uh, I didn't know that matcha has L-theanine in it, which is more of like a clear energy if you will uh, but this company that I purchased with my own money everything that you saw before like that was stuff that I bought myself to try because I wanted to try it they actually reached out and they were like hey we saw that you were posting about using our stuff what do you think do you want to we we're looking for some more people to work with do you want to be one of them and I was like well I really like it I would spend my own money on it and it's good so yeah let's do it so if you guys want to try out Ito Matcha actually it's really it's well aligned because Ito apparently means intention, which I am big on intention, intentionality, intention setting, all that stuff. Um, but if you guys wanna try it out for yourself, I will pop my code up on the screen. The link will be in my description box. Um, but I just make this into a tea with a little bit of almond milk and some stevia. And it's just really, really yummy, really tasty. I guess you can add it to smoothies and stuff as well to add like just more of a, a matcha y taste. You can drink it by itself without adding anything to it. I don't know. I just like it and it's good so I'm sharing it with you guys so my policy is if I haven't spent my own money on it wouldn't spend my own money on it I don't partner with them but I did spend my own money on it and I enjoyed it so we're teaming up so yeah you can use code Emily to get a discount on your matcha so that's that I'm about to train some posterior again uh, I'm only training four days a week right now I actually really enjoy having three rest days, but it's just two anterior days, two posterior days. Uh, so I think the last workout that you saw was indeed a posterior day, but uh, looks like you're going to see another one. I'm becoming that YouTuber. Enjoy. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be her. You're trying to score like it's fever She lives a double life What's on the show? What's under the subtle smile? We'll never know She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her hey, Let me paint a picture I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my hands Seeing you from around the way You think it 
give me the time of day You be making moves at you who really care what Simon say All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back You be looking fine, so no wonder they can't match that Louis V scar for I'm chilling with a dad hat, whoa Slow it down like that Just hold me down like that So I have really been into spaghetti squash lately. So I just made some up. Is this gonna focus on me? Maybe. Um, but I just made some up. I literally make this every week now. I did post a blog post on how I cook up mine. So I will link that in the description box. This week the only thing that's different is I added a little bit of garlic powder and then the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. So good. So good. But I really love zucchini, not zucchini squash, spaghetti squash. It's just super tasty. I use it in like, I'll like make soup with it and have it be like the noodles in the soup. I don't know. It's just nice, tasty, like sweet, nutty, all sorts of really good things. And it's really easy to make. So I discovered my love for it probably like a month or two ago, two months ago, I would say. And we've been riding together ever since. So I just... Wanted to show you that because I get asked for meal prep ideas a lot. So zucchini squash, not zucchini, why would you say zucchini squash? Spaghetti squash, it's tasty, you should try it. Okay you guys, so I am on the vlogging camera because it's smaller and it's easier to carry around, but we're about to make a special trip to drop off a little present from a distance. She doesn't know this is happening, but Des B about to be a mommy to a baby. AKA she's pregnant. I've known for a little while, but she just announced it like last week. So I have just a little pregnancy care package. Got her some flowers. I want it to be a girl. So this is me putting in my vote for the fetus to be a, a biological female. Uh, got her some hair stuff because you don't have to wash your hair as much when you're pregnant. That's, God told me that. Um, some of this really nice cocoa butter oil. I actually use this on my own skin. It's just really nice and moisturizing. Um, this can help with stretch marks through pregnancy. Uh, a little bit of chocolate. And then some sour strips for those sour cravings. I also got her this little journal so she can journal about her pregnancy. My mom wrote like while she was pregnant and when we were born and stuff and like going back and reading those is like one of my favorite things. And then this little sign says cool mom because she's not a regular mom she's a cool mom and then there's also a six pack of diet mountain dew in the back because i saw on her story the other day that she really wanted a diet mountain dew so i got her some diet mountain dew so we're gonna go drop this off so it would be super cool if you would go look on your driveway love you What's up you guys? It's Wednesday. May 6th. This vlog has covered like over two weeks of my life. Just a little snips of it. Just because last week I ended up doing the like Q&A video so I didn't do a vlog last week. But I had all this vlog footage from like the week before last week. So it's just whatever. I think, it's, did you see that spit bubble? Hopefully, hopefully not. But I have my fancy jammies on because I was cleaning this morning and I just wanted to feel pretty. Um, but <laughs> we're gonna do a DIY face mask because why not? We can't go to the spa. It's also really, really cheap. And I honestly love this face mask. Like my skin after I do these feels baby smooth. So if you wanna do a cheap, easy, DIY face mask? Look no further than me. 
Okay, so the two main ingredients for this mask are gonna be Greek yogurt and honey. So Greek yogurt is actually really great for you in general, but also your skin, especially the lactic acid in it. I'm a big fan of acids for my skin, um, but lactic acid is great for acne. It's great for mild exfoliation. Uh, it's a larger molecule than something like glycolic acid, so it doesn't get as deep within your skin, as far as I know at least. So we're gonna take two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. It doesn't have to be a super precise measurement. Also, if you're using your fingers to do any of this, make sure they're clean. That's kind of the theme of life right now. Let's make sure your hands are clean. Anyway, uh, and then I'm gonna take just one teaspoon. I'm trying to show the whole camera right here. And then I'm just gonna take one teaspoon of honey and add that in. Honey is a great antibacterial. Um, <laughs> when I was younger, I, didn't have it's so funny we always want what we don't have right I didn't have as many freckles as I wanted especially in the summertime uh, so I read on the internet somewhere that you could give yourself freckles by putting honey on your nose when you were in the sun that didn't work uh, so there's my little honey story and then you're just gonna take a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice don't put lemon juice like directly on your skin by itself, but this is diluted with other things. This is great for just like a little bit of brightening. Uh, so just gonna get a little bit of fresh lemon juice in there. And then this is optional, but if you have acne prone skin and you have this sitting around your house, a few drops of tea tree oil. That was actually a lot of drops of tea tree oil, but I digress. Then we're just gonna stir it up into a nice little paste. Honestly, if it didn't have the tea tree, oil, tea tree oil in it, this would also make for a lovely snack. Anyway, all right. Here's what your mask looks like. And I'm about to put it on my face. Hello! If you don't know what movie that's from, you're too young for this channel or you're just uncultured. But here we have it. Looks real nice and goopy because it is. What you see is what you get with this. Uh, so you're gonna leave this on for about 20 minutes. And when you're done, your skin will be renewed. We love that. Oh, that's creamy. <laughs> All right. I mean, you can't really see a whole lot but it's just your skin feels so it's more of a feel not a see experience your skin just feels like so soft and lovely afterwards so give that mask a try if you just want like some nice uh light chemical exfoliation maybe some acne management a little bit of hydration a little bit of exfoliation feels good also, if you try it, obviously let me know because this is the internet and that's what we do. Okay, so I'm super excited because the other day I ordered a new straightener because, not super exciting, my old one died. I had a Nano Titanium Babilis Pro. Had this for like at least five years and then it died. So I put on my uh, lifestyle account, so my like fashion beauty, all that stuff account like do you guys have a straightener you recommend for thick wavy hair that is hard to straighten um and the two most recommended were the babyliss and then the ghd platinum so i first of all the platinum got more votes when i put up a poll between the two but then also the people that loved the ghd like they go, they roll deep for the GHD. I got so many messages of like buy the GHD and like so much passion around the GHD styler that like, because I know that like people never really leave positive reviews on things, not never, but people are much more apt to leave a negative review on something than a positive review. So the amount of positive reviews that this got, I was like, okay, we're getting this. But I was like, oh, they're so expensive. And then, it really is Taurus season blessing us. But 
they're having a Mother's Day sale. So, I don't know if it's still going on. If it's not, I'm sorry. But uh, I think I got this for like 20% off. So, this is the GHD Platinum Plus Styler. Look how sleek it is. So, I'm going to straighten my hair. And we're going to get a little live test of this. I'm going to get my, uh, my initial thoughts and impressions. Oh, is that a little condom? It's a little condom for the straightener. That's nice. All right. That's gonna heat up, I guess. Gotta grab my hairbrush. Okay, so that literally, I'm not even kidding. When, I'm, when I say literally, I'm being very literal in this context. Uh, you know how sometimes you say literally and it's really not that literal? Anyway, uh, this literally, heated up in like 10 seconds. Uh, it actually beeps or like sings to you when it's ready. So I thought that was just nice. It was a lovely little just chime like, hello, I'm ready. So this is what my hair looks like. Uh, I like partially blew it dry this morning just to like get the the drying process going, if you will. Uh, so I wasn't waiting eight hours for my hair to be completely dry. Um, and then it just air dried the rest of the way. When I start blow drying my hair straight, it usually dries pretty straight, even though my hair is naturally wavy. But here we go. First pass. Pretty good. Mm. Oh, that looks shiny. That's nice and shiny. Wow, okay. You see that difference? It might be kind of hard to see because my hair is so dark. But this side is a lot smoother, obviously because I straightened it, but like a lot smoother and softer. And it's got a nice shine to it. Wow, okay. I'm gonna do the rest of my hair off camera and then I'll come back when my whole head is done. So I have to like stand with my feet really wide because you guys are propped up on my windowsill. Uh, if I stand up, starting it, I don't have a face. But finished product, it is very nice. It's very sleek. Oh, I gotta get down. It's very sleek. It's very soft, hence why I keep touching it. It just feels so nice. Like, wow. Wow! So obviously that was my first time using it, so I can't say whether I'm like a ride or die yet, but my first impression... This feels great! I love it! It looks really good. I need, I need to get my hair layered so bad. I need to get my hair touch up color-wise. I need to get it trimmed and layered. But, for the time being, this looks super nice. So, I'm done touching my hair. On camera, I'm gonna touch it all night, let's be honest. Uh, but that is what this looks like. So, if you guys are in the market for a new straightener, definitely consider the GHD one. Not sponsored at all, not gifted, paid my own dollars for it. I love it. I'll link the one that I have in the description box. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I know this video, you know, nothing new here, was kind of all over the place, both in terms of time and content matter, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. It really has made me so happy, just like people commenting like, oh, this just kept me company while I'm by myself or while I'm in self-isolation or whatever it is. Like that makes me really, really happy. Honestly, 
I've been loving YouTube throughout all this because just talking to the camera makes me feel like I'm not just like stuck by myself kind of thing. So it's been nice to be, be in this together. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Love ya! Bye!